Hello everyone, my name is Miss Lindsay and I'm so glad that you guys can all join me today. We're going to go ahead and continue our lesson on the fruit of the spirit for the month of October. Now the fruits of the spirit that we're going to go ahead and use in our lesson and we're going to get a little reminder of is you can go ahead and read Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 and 23. So now that we remembered what the fruits of the Spirit were, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, we're going to go ahead and try to remember these things, and we're going to want to try to remember to use them in our everyday life. Now for our activity today, we're going to go ahead and use those fruits of the Spirit, and we're going to create a little front, fun, merged one fruit. So here are some of the materials that we're going to need for this activity. So for the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and get our nine colors that we're going to need. So I picked just a couple of colors. Any colors that you have, you can use duplicate colors if you don't have enough, but I'm just lucky that I have nine different colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and use nine different colors for this activity. I have pink, red, yellow, orange, white, brown, baby blue, and dark blue. So we're gonna go ahead and use these construction paper for our activity. So for the first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get all of our nine colors. I'm gonna go ahead and split these in half. I'm gonna use, I'll use four for the first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut one strip down. So we're gonna go ahead and get your scissors. And you're gonna go straight across. And you're just gonna cut this right down just to get and that's what we have for our first. We have four colors. Let's go ahead and do that for the second piece. Just go ahead and cut. And there we go. And now we have our other colors. So you should have nine pieces of strip of different colors of papers, or you can have duplicate colors. We're going to write each of the fruits of the spirit on one strip of paper. So now that we go ahead and write all of our fruits, there you go. You're gonna wanna see if a parent can help you with this part, or if you have a brother and sister who can help you. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and connect these together. So we're gonna go ahead and take one, take one of the other fruits, and we're gonna go ahead and Put them together like that so what i have is i have a staple and i'm going to go ahead and start with that and then you're going to continue to do it for the rest so just a little in between for each of them like that So 
So now that we have our staples or our tape, we're gonna go ahead and take all of them and just skew them together like that. And then we just spread it out a little bit just so you can see all of them. And it's gonna kind of create a little spear like thing like that. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and staple. And then just, just like a spear. What I like to do is I like to just squish it a little bit. And so there's the spear, and as you can see, you can see some of the fruits of the spirit. Kind of push it down a little bit. You can read some of them. We got love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, goodness, and self-control. It looks kind of like a little apple. <laughs> so now what we're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and take, if you have a green construction paper, or you can have black construction paper, you can go ahead and color in green. We're going to want to make some leaves to put for our fruit. So go ahead and cut a couple of leaves or you can draw on whatever you feel like doing. I'm going to go ahead and take my two leaves that I just made. I'm going to staple it on here. And like that. So a little fruit. You can go ahead and put a string to hang it to kind of remind you some of the fruits of the spirit. However you want to go ahead and do it. You need, like I said, you can go ahead and put a string and then just kind of hang it around. So you can be reminded of what the fruits of the spirit are and that you can try to use them every day in your lives. Now we want to remember that we want to try to live as close as we can to Christ. And if it's something as like, you know, having kindness to like a friend, we can go ahead and do that. If it's something like, you know, having faithfulness, you know, believing that something's going to happen, just holding on to that hope, let's go ahead and try to use that. Or just by having love, you know, we can have love and show love to everyone that we know, you know, everyone that we encounter, whoever we may meet, just try to incorporate these fruits of the spirit in our everyday life.